Hi, welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I'm your host, Jacqueline King. It's a pleasure to be back coming to enter into the midnight hour. And we're going to do some repentance. Amen. Before we enter into our day. Amen. We want to speak the word of God. We want God's word to manifest. Amen. To protect us while we sleep. So, Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercies upon our lives. I thank you, Lord, that you purify us and sanctify us with the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, forgive us for the sins that we have committed. Yea, God, the sins that we have committed willfully. This words that we have spoken out of our mouths, Father God, intentionally. Father, forgive us for our anger for our disappointments, for having unresolved issues with other people and holding it against them, Father God, and manipulating and controlling controlling circumstances that we should not do. Father, we repent now in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, Father God, for participating in the purpose and the plans of the enemy. Father God, we bind every satanic agent now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind their witchcraft activities now in the name of Jesus. And we command them right now to go in the name of Jesus. And we loose ourselves from curses, from hexes, from spells, from bewitchment. We loose ourselves, Father God, from every evil domination that is directed at other people. Directed at us, Father God. Directed towards those who we have unforgiveness towards father we repent now and ask you god to forgive us and father we forgive those father god who has trespassed against us we forgive them lord father god for your word say forgive those who has trespassed against us and so father whoever's listening right now i pray that they will find it in their heart to release to let go or whoever whatever that has caused harm and hurt in their lives. Father, forgive us, Father God, for selfishness. Forgive us, Father God, for bitterness, for hidden malice in our heart, even in our communication. Father God, we ask you to be merciful to us and wash us and cleanse us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And I bless your name, Lord, because you are worthy to be blessed. I exalt thee, Lord, because you are worthy to be exalted. Lord, I thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercies. Lord, I thank you, God, as we confess our sins one to another. You are faithful and just to forgive us of our sin, God. Forgive us, Father God, for holding anything in our hearts that does not look like you. Father, we renounce all powers of darkness now in the name of Jesus. That's right. Whoever hears the sound of my voice, renounce all powers of darkness. Renounce affiliation and association with all powers of darkness, with witches, with warlocks, with occults. Anything that you have done that is displeasing to the Father, renounce it now in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything. Amen. Don't put no limitation when you are repenting. You are to repent and turn from your wicked ways. Amen. Turn. It's good to acknowledge your sin in our in your in your heart, in your thoughts. It's good that we come to God and we repent in the name of Jesus Christ. And I thank God for the power of repentance. I thank God for the renewal of the mind because we are no longer conformed to this world. But we are being transformed. Amen. Every day when we spend time with God, when we read his word, when we seek his will, we pray his will and we acknowledge his purpose for this world, for the inhabitants. And his purpose is for us to be saved, to be delivered from the snail of the fowl, from the noise of peasants, to be delivered from the peasants, from, from the peasants that walketh in darkness, from the arrows that wasteth in destruction at noonday. God wants us to be delivered. But the enemy comes to set us up, to trap us up. He comes and dig a pitch, a pit for us. But that pit that he has dug for you, for me, ah, let him fall in it now in the name of Jesus. Let it be his portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus, be merciful, Lord. Be merciful, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be merciful. Be merciful to us, Lord. And we thank you for your grace and your sovereignty. 
We thank you for your loving kindness, God. We thank you for the atonement of the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the atonement of the blood of the Lamb. That cleanses us from all unrighteousness. We thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus that purifies, that makes us whole. We thank you, Father God, for the benefits that we inherited through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for the benefits. We thank you, Lord, for your love, for your peace. We thank you, Lord, that we are redeemed. For there is redemption power in the blood of Jesus. There is sanctification in the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, God, that you are making us whole, Father God. You are making us whole again in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we bless you, God, and we give you many thanks, God. We give you many thanks because you are worthy to be blessed. And we bless you, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for delivering us from this world, from the sin of the world. Amen. So let us enter into worship. And then when we get back, we're just going to read some scriptures and we're going to go back into prayer. And this is preparing us for the night watches. Amen. It's important that we wash ourselves and cleanse ourselves with the word of God, with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
praise God. Thank you, Jesus. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Amen. What does it profit? So we need to understand that there are benefits in serving the Lord Jesus Christ. There are benefits in the word of God. There is benefits in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we have to understand those benefits and begin to declare those benefits and speak them daily and often by trusting in the name of the Lord, by decreeing and declaring his promises, amen, over our lives, over our children. And we thank God for those benefits. We thank God for the power of the blood, amen. We thank God that those benefits that he has given us, amen, is to cleanse us, to redeem us. Those benefits are to justify us, amen. Those benefits are to sanctify us, to bring peace and to give us access to The throne of grace. Amen. That's right. The throne of grace. So Father in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for those benefits you have given us. Through your son Jesus Christ. We thank you Lord that you have forgiven us of our sin God. The sin that we have committed willfully and unwillfully. Knowingly and unknowingly. But Father God we come now asking you to cleanse us. To purify our hearts God. To sanctify us, God, so that we are justified by faith and not just by works. Father God, we thank you right now that you have redeemed us from the curse of the law. We thank you for the redemption power, Father God. We thank you, Lord, that we are sanctified and made right in your eyes, God. That's right, Abba Father, right, being in right standing with you. And Father God, we thank you for the peace. The peace that passeth all understanding. For you said, let this mind be in you that is also in Christ Jesus. And let us inherit the benefits of peace. Peace and a sound mind. For you did not give us a spirit of fear. But you gave us a spirit of peace, love and a sound mind, Father God. So we do not allow the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of fear and doubt. The lack of faith, Father God. Ignorance to be our portion, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, because you have cleansed us, God. You have purified with the blood of Jesus and we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb by the word of our testimony and we thank you Father God for the benefits Father God. We thank you for the benefits that we have in your Son Jesus Christ. We thank you Father God that you are renewing us God and you're keeping us God. We thank you Lord that these benefits helps us to testify Because we love not our lives unto death, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, for your son Jesus. And we accept your son Jesus. I accept your son Jesus. Your son who died on the cross for the sin of the world. And I believe I have inherited the benefits of your son. And I thank you, Father, that whoever hears my voice, that they will begin to repent that they will begin to repent and turn from their wicked ways and seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. But Father, I thank you right now as I pray for myself, as I pray for others. Secure us now, Father God, in the blood of the land. Secure us, God. Protect us, God, from the adversary. Protect us, Father God, from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deliver us, Father God. Deliver our children. Deliver our household, God. Protect our household, Father God, from the adversity that is on the outside of these walls, Father God. Lord, we decree and declare the blood of Jesus over every entry point of our house, the foundation of this earth, Father God. We speak the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus, that our home is saturated. That's right. Begin to decree and declare your home is saturated. It is established in the word of God by faith. Amen. Release that. Release the blood over your home at the entry points of your home. Speak the blood. Amen. And secure yourselves in the blood that no sickness, no disease shall come nigh unto your dwelling. It shall not come nigh, amen. It shall not dwell there, amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, let Satan know that there are angels. You have angels outside your door that whoever comes to your house unknowingly, astral projecting to your home, they will be electrocuted by the Holy Ghost fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yea, God. The angels of the Lord are standing at every entry point of my home and they are watching over me 
Amen. Begin to confess that they are watching over me. They are watching over the inhabitants of my home. They are watching my family. They are watching my finances, my resources, because that satanic agent will not have legal rights to what belongs to me. And their assignments are counseled and they are notified with the blood of Jesus Christ. Every curse, every assignment has been destroyed by the fire of God. While I sleep, their attempts are already destroyed. They have failed. Success would not be their portion. I will triumph over them because the blood of Jesus is our portion. It is my portion. Begin to confess that the blood of Jesus is my portion. The blood of Jesus secures me. The blood of Jesus delivers me and my household in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we thank you, Father God, for the power of the blood. We thank you, God, that we are secured in the blood. We thank you, Father God, for the benefits in the blood. We thank you, Father God, nothing can dry up the blood. The blood is continuing to flow in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we thank you, Father God, for the healing and the purpose that you have with the blood. Amen. We thank you again, God, over and over. We have to thank you and bless your name and thank you for the benefits that we have, those benefits that flows from the veins of your son, Emmanuel. God is with us. Amen. So, Lord, we bless you. We thank you, Lord. We give you many thanks, God. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we just bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for forgiving us of our sins, for purifying our hearts, our mind, our soul. So whatever sin you have committed, begin to repent right now. Begin to repent right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, that you have delivered us from the bondage. The bondage that came to keep us in shackles has been lifted off us now. That's right. Those shackles, those chains can no longer hold us. And we bind all spirits of bondage to everything in our lives. Amen. We command those spirits, those unclean spirits to go in Jesus name. Every unclean spirit that is connected to sin in our lives, we command those unclean spirits to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Breathe them out. Expel out. Amen. Command every unclean spirit that comes to keep you in deep sleep, that comes to keep you in the spirit of forgetfulness, absent-mindedness, procrastination, laziness, confusion. Yea, God, we bind those spirits now in the name of Jesus Christ. We cast them spirits out in the name of Jesus. The spirit of doubt, the spirit of unbelief and skepticism will not be our portion. Father, forgive us for allowing these spirits to have dominion and reign over us. Yea, God, forgive us for our unrighteousness. Forgive us, Father God, for allowing the Antichrist spirit, the spirit of rebellion and false prophecy to be a part of our lives God we renounce them and fall out of agreement with them in the name of Jesus Christ and Father we thank you Lord as we acknowledge our sin God we now triumph over the powers of darkness and we reinforce the authority that you have given us that's right we reinforce the power and the authority you have given us through the precious shed blood of your son Jesus Christ According to Luke 10, 19, we now have that power and that authority. And we believe and we confess with our mouth. And we thank you, Father God, that the blood of Jesus is the solution to all our problems. That's right. The blood of Jesus is the solution to all our problems, to the sin in our lives. And we thank you as a believer in Christ Jesus. We now have inherited the benefits through the blood of Jesus Christ. And we cry out, holy, holy, holy. Holy is the Lamb of God. We cry out to you, Lord, because you are worthy to be blessed. And we thank you, Father God, for the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for the blood of the Lamb. We thank you for the benefits. We thank you for the sanctification. We thank you, Lord, for strength and peace and joy. We thank you, Father God, 
as we prepare ourselves for the night, as we give thanks and praise to your holy name. We just rejoice. Amen. Amen. So, Father, we thank you for freedom and liberation through the blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father, for forgiving us of our sins. And whoever you are, wherever you are, if there's anything you have not confessed, I pray that you will confess before you go to bed. Let Father be your help. Let Father be your portion. Let him cover you. Let him shield you in a day of battle. Amen? Amen. And I'm your host, Jacqueline King. Prophetic utterance. God be with you.